Hello everybody, hope you're doing very well and welcome back to another cryptocurrency technical analysis where I have a very good video for you all today uh, where I'm going to be going through Bitcoin and Ethereum against the BTC pairing which has honestly played out exactly the same as Bitcoin as we're staying right now. So uh, yes, it's been a very uh, enjoyable day of trading to be honest. On Today is obviously a bank holiday in England so for the people that have been off trading all day, uh, I hope you've enjoyed it too. <laughs> um, so yeah, going through the charts here going to start with Bitcoin and then we'll move on to the uh, Ethereum, which is obviously currently up 7% in the day. Uh, very nice movements, okay? So on the short term here on Bitcoin, what we are really keeping an eye on, okay, is it's kind of getting stuck between two really important support and resistance zones. As you can see, this 618, just look at these 618. So we're looking at the golden pocket here, the two lines of this Fibonacci channel. When you look at this on the daily, you can just see how perfect this has been acting as resistance and as support, okay? It really is a perfect channel. And when we zoom down and take a look at this on a smaller term time frame, we can just see now we have had one, two, three touches on the off of the golden pocket acting as support. Okay, so we have a clear defined support zone along this golden pocket of the Fibonacci channel. Okay, then we also prior, okay, we've now lost it, but you can see prior how we also had this upward sloping support trend line as well, which acted as for several, several bounces before we come down, lost the support of this upward sloping trend line, come down, hit the 618, back tested the upward sloping channel, lost the uh, that, that support, flipped to resistance. We, we dropped down again and then we're coming back up and testing for the now second time acting as resistance uh, but that that channel getting another touch and obviously getting a rejection not just that channel but then you're obviously seeing this area of old support flipping back into resistance as well so we're seeing like a squeeze uh coming down here in terms of where we can see like a clear resistance, okay? And we're again seeing a clear support and it's just, uh, you know, what's gonna happen in, in the grand scheme of things. Obviously, you're gonna be wanting to look at the daily time frame where we can see uh, bearish divergences on the chart, okay? As I pointed out yesterday for you all, you're seeing these higher highs on the charts and the RSI here also making lower highs each time. OK, so we're getting bearish divergences on a daily time frame. OK, three peaks as well. One, two, three highs and going for one, two, three lower lows on RSI. OK, on the histogram, we're obviously just getting the first slight down tick today. So it's not looking great on a bigger term time frame in terms of momentum and strength uh, running into this big area of resistance. But... With all that said, we are still holding support very nicely and there is still buying pressure. Without a doubt, there is still buying pressure uh, for the bulls. OK, and that's why I have mentioned earlier uh, all the people that are in the uh, champions group. Uh, you know, that's why I was still playing alts long today. So I've been playing uh, Zill, Ontology, ETH and ENG. And this was uh, what I've been doing all day. Uh, but, you know, we're now three hours later and they are all doing very well. So, Ethan, and let me just show you. I just wanted to show you the comments that I have I uh, yeah I did prior. OK, I'm not just saying after the big moves, I had been prior trading these and they are moving very well. So, obviously, we've seen ENG with a 6% move up on the day. We're seeing Ontology with the bounce from support. We're seeing Zill with another strong move up from support. Uh, that that was a, a, a negative Fibonacci level. But the start of the show that I want to go through here is... Um, is actually Ethereum against the BTC pairing because that has been a joy to trade because I want to show you all the similarity that it's had and it, this is still going now up 8%. This is making me very happy. <laughs> um, but obviously we are running into this area of old support flipping into resistance again. So it's not out of the woods, but if we get a measured move for this uh, falling wedge here, this, this could be a, a joy to trade over the coming week. Absolutely. But what I want to highlight to you all is obviously you saw exactly the same as Bitcoin. Uh, remember back in December where we reached a high, we dropped down and reached just above the 618 on Bitcoin. We come up for a second high, which which didn't meet a higher high. We sold off to the 786 in a falling wedge pattern. Let me show you what happened there on Bitcoin. So you uh, can remember very well. OK, so here we are back on Bitcoin back in December, January. We obviously formed a high, sold off to the 618 come back up to form a lower high, come back down to the 786 in a falling wedge. And you will know what happened since then. That was the low and we moved up to, you know, continue to making higher highs and higher lows. Remember, let's just compare this chart again because it's been absolutely perfect to trade. Um, that is the Bitcoin chart, okay, from December. 
And now let's flip back to Ethereum and you can see that, wow, how similar are those charts? Absolutely so, so, so similar. Coming down to the 618, getting a bounce, getting a lower high, selling off in a falling wedge, coming down to the 786, getting a perfect bounce. Not just that, ladies and gentlemen, but I would also like to show you if we are looking at this as a wave one and seeing an ABC retracement, where are we looking for DC? We're looking for a one-to-one -one extension. What did we get? We got a one-to-one -one extension to the um, absolute tick. Okay, we're telling absolute tick absolute tick absolute tick one to one extension right there that is literally the most perfect entry in the world um yeah literally now that from that entry is nearly up 10 percent but obviously on the day we're up 8.5 percent and this is still going strong up another percent since starting the video um I mean, what a beast is Ethereum right now and the potential that we could see if this runs, um, you know, continues to run up. But yeah, obviously, yeah, we are now running into a bit of resistance, but that was that's that's made my whole day uh, this one trade alone. But um, yeah, just nice to combine that with the other coins I've been trading. But yeah, this is a this is a day maker right here and a half, a 10 percent move. Um, so yeah, that's just comparing the patterns and seeing uh, as you see the sell offs occurring on on like these coins okay it's not just ethereum that has this ha has had this pattern um you know a lot of different altcoins are in the same scenario and if bitcoin does behave nicely even going sideways or edging up slowly the keyword is slowly going up or down uh, then altcoins are hitting some real nice supports okay real nice supports and uh, yeah ethereum is a prime example of this and ethereum obviously kind of leads the altcoin market so uh yeah that, that has been a great day uh, and i just wanted to show you all in this video the the similarities and if you're awake trading these uh you have to be alert to what's going on okay and this was an opportunity and a half right there for ethereum okay and just you know seeing exactly how that happened to bitcoin so uh yeah that's i just wanted to show you all that, that was what was going on there what was causing the move up okay and now we can see bitcoin as we're speaking coming up and testing this trend line once again okay you can just see how clear it was resistance this is not a massive resistance though okay the main thing that's holding this down is obviously this okay we can see that's holding us down and also you could take a fibs in here as well okay so you've got this confluence of 0 0.5 trend line and old box right ahead of us um so it's not it's not totally going to uh, be easy to get through this but you would expect or i would personally expect to get this another leg up to you know just increase the bearish divergences that are going on here or obviously the other option is that we get a short squeeze uh, which you do want to be aware of but obviously this is a really good short opportunity but you do have the potential of a short squeeze going through here if the momentum is going to continue with the balls um you know we could even with bearish divergences you can still get through uh, that resistance zone okay so that's why you don't want to marry any sort of biases and just trade the chart at this, as it's coming. And without a doubt, um, you know, buying these dips to the 618 has been a very, very good opportunity. It has been for the last four times now we've touched it. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm happy still trading this market uh, while it's holding supports. OK, absolutely. It's still holding supports. It's still making even on the, even on the smaller term time frames, we're still making higher lows and higher highs. OK, and then on the macro, it's obviously even more apparent, the higher lows and higher highs. I mean, the strength is definitely with the balls. It's not something that I would look to long term short at the moment. OK, until we actually see some breakdowns and form some lower lows and lower highs, uh, I wouldn't get carried away at this moment. Obviously, as soon as we get that, I'm going to be entering into big shorts. But as it stands right now, the momentum is still with the balls and I'm still making much more money going long uh, than shorting right now. So, um, yeah, and I just, yeah, just just take a look at some of the altcoins today. Um, obviously, the ones that I mainly be trading, I can show you, obviously... We just saw a really similar situation where you come down and you see this really big sell-off. Okay, this was a really big one on, on uh, Zill because you see it's broken the all-time lows, bro broke the all-time lows, gets a really big sell-off. And you obviously get bounces along the way down. Nothing just goes straight down. Okay, same as Ontology coming to the um, 786 here. You see it's sort of a massive, massive sell-off. It's going to get bounces on the way down, even if your bounces are a few percent. Um, it's still a great opportunity to play. And this is now going really strong. So as we're speaking, this is still moving up for me as well. Cool. This is nearly four percent so yeah it's been a decent day eng yeah this is really really nice um so yeah basically there's definitely still opportunities for longs uh in this market even if we continue to continue to see weakness in alts just remember nothing ever moves straight down the same as nothing ever moves straight up you get retracements in an uptrend and you get retracements in a downtrend and it's just uh losing all bias losing all emotions and just trading the chart and absolutely killing it that's how you do it and that's how you make money uh, not by being scared basically
Okay, um, so yeah, this is going really well. Uh, just so you're all aware that the mental ship spots have totally sold out right now. Uh, I'm going to cl close them down all on the website. So they are all now closed down. There is no more mental ship spots left, unfortunately. Um, so they are reopening now in June. Um, so yeah, you're, if you want to get in, you're going to have to wait till June, unfortunately, uh, because there was such a high demand and it's gone really, really well so far. So that's brilliant. A lot of people making money with me and a lot of people killing it and a lot of people going to be learning. So I'm really excited for how this is going. Uh, but just so you are all aware, yes, it is sold out and all of it is closed down. And I'm going to think I'm going to reopen it in June to to everybody again. Um, so, yeah, there's just that bit of news that I needed to tell you all this. Yeah, you, you don't need to keep trying to sign up because it's it's sold out. You're not going to get anywhere. <laughs> um Okay, yeah, this is still looking really nice now. Cool. Uh, yeah, I'm happy with how everything's going, and I hope you've enjoyed this quick update um, on Bitcoin, Ethereum, mainly the two that I covered, and a few different alts I'm trading. Um, so, yeah, hope you all enjoying your day. Hope you all enjoyed your bank holiday if you're in England, or like countries that have bank holiday today. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, absolutely kill it with trading, and lose any emotion, lose your bias, and just kill the charts and make some money with me. Let's go. <laughs> Cheers, everybody, for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>